Lumbar stenosis is a really common condition as people get older. Wear and tear tissue in your lower back, which is by which we mean a sort of bulging disc, a thickened ligament and some arthritis in, in the small joints and the facet joints in your back, gradually reduce the space for the nerves over time. If people have reduced space around their nerves, which is what we mean by stenosis, and they get symptoms from it, then typically people will get symptoms in their legs, usually starting in their bottom, radiating down their legs, but the legs can be painful, they can be weak, they can be heavy, they can be unsteady, but there's usually symptoms that come on with standing and walking, and usually symptoms that are relieved by rest. For most people who have got stenosis, unfortunately there's really only two options which are poles apart. One is that you soldier on and you put up with things. If you leave things alone, um, you know, your symptoms may wax and wane, they may get a bit better with time, they may get it worse with time. It's very difficult to, to give any certainty around, around the natural history of the condition. The other option is having an operation to decompress the nerves, so take the pressure off the nerves and give the nerves back a normal amount of space. And if people are struggling with their walking, then that could be a really rewarding procedure to do because you will often feel better you know, when you get out of bed you know, later that day or, or the following day. When people have classical stenosis, so difficulty standing, difficulty walking, giving symptoms in both legs, actually the evidence for doing injections is, is pretty poor. And so whilst people may have injections for stenosis from time to time, it is not normally something that gives good results. So um, it, it, normally the, the, the advice if you're looking for some form of intervention would be more around surgery rather than injection.